Right. Have you ever wondered what it's like to ride around on a fire truck, Tyler? I know you have. And you then know racing, I have. Racing to the scene of a fire. Adrenaline's going to be pumping, right? Yeah, coming up next, we'll talk to the guys from the Mesa Fire Department that get to do it all the time. And we'll give you an up-close and personal look at how they keep you safe while they're out there on the roadways racing to that call. doesn't check out one of these vehicles racing by on the side of the road and think that is awesome. Well the guys that do that job are the true definition of the word hero and with us this morning a few of those heroes a crew from the Mesa Fire Department joining us this morning. You guys are here to show off basically what you do when you're racing to that call keeping us safe. Jerry Bevan is the engineer here and thank you all for being here this morning. Thank you Tess. Didn't get to ask you what station are you from? We're from uh, station 201 in Mesa. All One right. of the better stations I'm guessing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One of the busier stations. So let's start with you guys have to stay on top of making sure that you guys are getting to a location quickly when you're responding to a 911 call. This is a big piece of apparatus to get through busy streets. And you don't have Kramer on the back <laughs> steering it like in that Seinfeld episode I was talking about earlier. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is a heavy apparatus and it does require a uh, pretty good distance in order to get this thing stopped. Uh, every morning it's my job to, as a driver operator to get the crew to the scene safe and back to the station safe. What are some of those things that you do to make sure that this thing is in tip-top shape? Well, first of all, uh, again, it's back to firefighter safety. Uh, we start everyone seat belted in before we leave the station. You know, we've got to obey the traffic laws. Uh, you know, once we're on the road, you know, it's real important as my, in, in my position to be paying attention to, you know, the public because you never know what they're going to do as far as, uh, you know, uh, a lot of them become afraid, scared, sure. you know, and and, and panic probably. And panic. See people, I've, I've I've noticed every once in a while people that just don't pull over. They don't pull over. Uh, you know, the when you take your driver's test, it says pull to the right with an emergency vehicle, and uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, they'll stop right in front of me or pull to the left. And that's a hefty ticket. I mean, do you it's ever a, have like cop cars can you go I with you? I have had and, and one situation where uh, we were on uh, Country Club and DPS patrols that and uh, a DPS officer did pull a vehicle over for wow. just stopping in front of me. So you need to follow the rules yes, when so you are dealing with obeying the traffic it. laws is important. And then again, every day we go through a, a vigorous check of the, of the truck from bumper to bumper. Uh, and uh, that information's passed on shift to shift from each engineer. And then on Saturdays, we do a more comprehensive uh, check of the truck. We tilt this cab tilts so we can get in and check all the different levels. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if we find any type of mechanical, fa mechanical failure, um, we have a real good working relationship uh, with our resource management where our, our mechanics are located mm -hmm. and uh, we report uh, any, any defects to them and if we need to we go out there and they'll repair it or they can come to the station and make those repairs. Let's take a look inside of one of this. Uh, maybe Corey can take us through. When you say the cab oh, look tilts, at that. What, do you, what do you mean? I mean there's a whole thing. This, this whole cab will tilt. I mean we can do a, a demonstration for you if you would like. How long does it take? Well, if he, if he, if he can uh, tie his SCBA in, we, we'll tilt the cab. It's pretty fancy. All right, this is awesome. Corey, what's been the most exciting, uh, I guess, call you've ever been to in terms of get, trying to get to a scene and it was just crazy trying to get there? Uh, just sometimes when there's house fires in neighborhoods, uh, a lot of neighbors come out and they start clogging the streets and there's people driving by and they'll just clog up the streets and then Jerry's going to kind of weave his way in there. and. It, sometimes it gets just a little hectic. So note to folks, Jerry, is really stay away and let you guys do your job. Yes, yes. Pay attention to what's around you when you hear that siren. Pull to the right uh, again. It's it's a pretty simple. You don't need to panic. Just but do it in a safe manner. That is awesome. How many of you guys are riding on a truck at a time? Four four guys per truck. Four guys per truck. Yes, two paramedics, two EMTs on every truck, uh, engine and ladder. He's going to need to start that, Eric. It's and great. I know little kids are watching this going, can I come see a fire truck? Can I just ever go to a fire station and see a fire truck? Always welcome to come visit the fire station. <laughs> awesome. So he's starting it is, is yeah. up. And then what happens from here? This is going to tilt up, which allows us access to all the mechanical moving parts of the Ooh. engine. Looks and like this Optimus is... Prime transforming. <laughs> That's what we need is a transforming <laughs> fire truck into a firefighting robot. 
And it's not just kids that can come down. I mean, I drive by a fire station every day when I'm coming to work, and I always see somebody out there bringing cookies or breakfast or donuts. Do you guys get that a lot? A lot, and it's pretty funny because a lot of times uh, the parents will bring these young children and they're the ones that are wanting to get up on the truck, <laughs> in the truck, and then, you know, sit in the driver's seat. I love it. Well, Jerry, thank you so much for giving us a little peek inside what the Mesa Fire Department does to make sure everybody is safe when you guys are trying to safely get to an emergency call. You're very welcome. We Thanks sure for appreciate having us, it. Jeff. And there you go, guys. Kids, if you really want a tour of a fire station and a fire truck, you can just say, Engineer Jerry said, I can come see at any kids. time. Yeah. Jerry said even the adults okay, can come, come by. I think he's your first, <laughs> he's your first visitor. All right.